in this John Morant situation, maybe I was telling the truth a little too early, but now we're here. All accusations, so we always assume you're innocent until proven guilty, but also where there's smoke, mm, maybe something's burning over there. John Morant accused of punching a 17-year-old boy 12 to 13 times and flashing a gun at him during a pickup pick basketball game last summer. Huh? Yeah. Now, this is the same John Morant of the Memphis Grizzlies that there was an altercation before about at, at the arena and after it, uh, some of the people on the bus saw lasers pointed at their bus. This is the same John Morant. There, there's an accusation where his mother was at a finish line at the mall, had a little issue in the finish line. Next thing you know, John Morant shows up, crew deep, uh, asking when is the worker getting off of work? I wonder why he wanted to take him to dinner. So here's the thing. When I stepped back from this, the first time I looked at John Morant and was like, this is going to be interesting. You know, are we going to get into some Allen Iverson level stuff, which watch this comparison, not as bad as some Tupac stuff. And what you see is some guys are not going to let go where they're from, not going to let go of how down they are, you know, even though you should let go of down because you're now up. But I digress. Some people want to actually go out there and flex like, yo, I'm really from it. Now, we all witnessed this when we went to college. When you first get to college, the farther someone got away from their home, the more gangster it seemed like they got, right? Everybody. I was like, dog. And people assumed that I was gangster just because of where I'm from. But then they hear me talk, they hear me and see me act out and just be me. They were like quickly like, nah, he ain't trying to be hard. Hell nah, I survived that. You think I'm trying to act like that now? I ain't trying to flex in front for you guys for any reason, anything. But John Moran is in a position right now where it seems like, hmm, I could see this coming. I could smell it. Why? It started actually with the Shannon Sharp incident and his father. His father, look, supporter, biggest fan, seems like at every single game, even road games, it seems that way. Father T. Morant. And when I saw him get into it with Shannon Sharp, and it wasn't like a dust up, it wasn't like they were about to throw hands, but it was more than I will assume a father role to be. It was more than I would want my daddy to do. Um, I was like, hmm, let me keep watching this T. Morant, John Morant relationship and seeing how it plays out. Well, John Morant's in a position where I found myself loosely in the same position. There's a daddy issue going on right here, and let me tell you what it is. I, when I was playing, needed a father, not a fan. It looks like from the outside, John Morant needs his father, not a fan. Why do you need your father? Because the world is now your oyster. You have the world on your phone in one hand, and then you have the world in your hand in terms of all your access and resources and your name and your money. You are John Morant. And in that moment when I was a professional athlete, I was on a much smaller scale than the John Morant, but I still needed my father. What I received was more of my father being a fan. My father was always there. He was always supportive. But the dynamic shifts, you got to remember, when you're a young man and looking up to your father and all of a sudden you get a check with three, four, five commas on it, all of a sudden that relationship and power dynamic flips. Your dad may feel like he can't flex on you the same. I don't know why, Pops. You should because I need a father, not a fan. But in my situation, my father kind of took a little off his discipline of me took a little off of him coming down and making sure I understood the principles and things I was going through because he was like, oh, that boy done made it and that boy is taking care of me. And who am I to say something to him right now? Look what I produced. It's done. It's ready made. No, it's not because now the world's coming at you at a completely different level and different speed. And how are you digesting this? What's the circle doing? Is it yes men? Or is there guys that actually say, dog, don't do that. And don't do that again or else I'm going to have to have some consequences for you. Or I might have to depart from this. No, of course not. We know how the circle looks typically. What about your father who is getting that monthly check? Who is living in the house that you bought? Who is driving the cars that you purchased? 
Is he coming down the same exact way as a father would, no matter what the circumstances were? The same way you grew up? Is this the same way now he's raising you? Because guess what? When you're your, his son, you're always needing that guidance, needing that leadership, needing someone to step out of these situations and make sure you see them properly. Not be somebody that runs into them with you or runs in them faster and gets you into them. So now we have a situation where we've seen his father get, him in, get, get going with him and do something at the Laker game, whatever that was. And now we see a situation where he's responding to his mother and coming to her aid, but doing too much in accusation. I just hope the best for him because he's such a tremendous talent. Seems like a great dude, but wow, the world's in his hand right now. And instead of holding it, embracing it and lifting it up, seems like he want to throw the set up and split those fingers. And that, that whole I'm acting hard stuff has a hard ending. And I don't want that for John Morant. So I will step out, tell you my issues in my situation. My father, I love him to death. I wish he would have cracked that whip on me a little more. I wish he'd have told me, hey man, you hanging out a little too tough. I wish he would have told me, you need to look at this situation like this instead of like the way you are. Because I'm the one going through it. And I can't see the forest from the trees, pops. But you can, or at least you're supposed post to. So in situations like this, I've seen so many guys, they think that talent alone gets you there and that talent alone will keep you there. Oh no. You got to be a man of character to even become a professional athlete to some degree. You got to be disciplined, determined, focused, right? You got to put it all in. But guess what? When you get there, they even ask more of you in those attributes. So right now we're asking more of you, John ja Morant to be more of a man, to be the greatest version of yourself, not live out some childhood kind of fantasies and hood folklore and actually act harder and tougher than you are. Nobody believe in that. The way you got it right now, the last thing you need to do is show people how hard you are because we all know you don't have it that hard.